Hi there, Zeno here, CEO of FunnelFlux. Now, I just wanted to take the time to show you a little bit about our tracker, show you around the interface, and introduce you to the key part of FunnelFlux that makes it unique from all other trackers on the market and will help you become a better marketer. So, let's jump straight in. Now, when you first install uh, FunnelFlux and get started and you log in, you're going to see your dashboard. This is something that most you know, performance and affiliate marketers expect, some place to see a general overview of their campaigns. So here you go. Now we have a lot of different sections of FunnelFlux that will be familiar to you as a performance and affiliate marketer. We have your stats and reporting area where we actually have these split into tree and flat table views because some people like one, some people like the other. Places to configure and add your traffic sources, your offer sources such as networks, offers, landers and so on. A uh, place to actually get your general links as well as store them in cases where you have a certain link you want to generate all the time and you just want easy access to it. Uh, we have places to update your conversions, update your traffic costs and reset your statistics, basically wipe stats from your database. Uh, we also have places to deal with say user management. So one cool feature is you can create sub users with very, very granular permissions, which is really great for uh, media buyers who have staff where they want kind of restricted access to be given to their tracker. Uh, and various other places which you can explore later. Now what I wanted to do was focus on the funnel editor, the visual creation tool that we've created that lets you basically do whatever you want with uh, tracking and with controlling redirection for your campaigns. So uh, here you can see a list of campaigns. These are basically containers. If I expand these, you'll see uh, all of the funnels. Uh, which are within these campaigns. Now each of these funnels is basically a visual map uh, and you can send traffic from any number of traffic sources to any one of these funnels. So I'm just going to jump into this gaming one and edit it and show you a little bit about this funnel builder. Okay, so you can see here this uh, random sort of test funnel that I have been playing with. Now when it comes to creating uh, a mind map of what you want to do with a funnel or with a campaign, most people would just kind of draw something down on paper with a pen, right? Or get on a whiteboard and kind of map out their expectations and what they want to happen. FunnelFlux lets you do that. So unlike other trackers where it's, it's relatively linear and you have one campaign link which starts at one entry point that sends people to a bunch of landers or direct links them to offers, uh, rather than having that quite straightforward sequence, you can do almost anything you want. So I'm going to delete all of these and show you how easy it is to create quite a complex funnel that actually is very logical and easy to understand when you're the one building it. So first off, the default node here is this uh, traffic node. I'm going to add a rotator, which is just a very simple node to split traffic. And I'll just drag and drop a connection here. Now let's say I want to split test three landers. I'm going to add landers and I'm going to add test lander one, two and three. There we go, I'll visually organize them because I'm an organized person. And drag and drop to create these connections. That was how simple it is to create weighted rotation. If I want to change these percentages, I just double click. I can control this slider, the other ones adjust. If I then go to adjust this one, uh, this one here will stay pinned because I've already changed it. And I have to make sure that these add up to the total. So 6, 64, 30, all good. Okay. Now let's say I want to send people to some offers as well. That's easy to do. Let's add three offers down the bottom. I'll just pick some random ones here. There we go. So let's drag these around. Now let's look at a few situations here. I might want to send people to test lander one and have their clicks only go to this offer here. Test lander two to this and test lander, oops, test lander three to this. Save that funnel. And that's done. So now people will get rotated between these and go to these specific offers, right? Now that's you know relatively simple, but if you've used other trackers, you'll know that often this can be quite annoying to actually set up and it's not nearly as fast as doing it this way. Now I could have a lander with multiple call to action buttons where I want uh, action two to actually go here and action three to go here. Maybe it's some sort of review page which is linking to a lot of different offers and these are review pages as well, but they don't link to all of the offers. Who knows? But it's relatively easy for me to make those connections. 
Now, what if these were all just uh, landers that were for the same uh, offers? So three landers I want to rotate evenly and three offers I want to rotate evenly as well. Well, for that, I can add a rotator here, link all of these landers uh, directly to this rotator as a sort of hub. And then I can link to all of these. And there you go. I've now got your typical kind of affiliate situation with split tested landers and offers uh, in a straight kind of sequence, uh, a linear sort of fashion. And again, relatively easily. Now, what if I wanted to do something more interesting? Let's say people who come into my funnel, I want them to get checked first to see what country they're from. And if they're from, uh, let's say, New Zealand, they only go to test lander one. Okay, so I can add a condition, create a new entry, check NZ, check for country, put New Zealand. There we go. I can put this condition here. Traffic, all incoming traffic goes to this. If yes, it goes down to this lander directly. If no, it goes to this lander and gets to rotate between all of them. And of course, if I only want New Zealand to go here, I could delete that connection. And then I can delete that one there. Now we have that simple condition. I can make any number of conditions I want, these binary conditions in a funnel. I can add as many of them as I want. I can link them and chain them together. I can even make them global so that they can be used repeatedly in different funnels. That's very useful if you have some sort of uh, global condition that checks for uh, bots or for ISPs that you want to block or anything like that. And of course you can even check uh, things like tracking parameters. So all of the data that your tracker or that funnel flux has on a user, you can use that in these conditions here. Now there's a lot of other interesting things that you can do. I won't go into too much more detail, but you can also use external URLs if you want to send someone to just uh, a random page, let's say it's not a lander or an offer or some asset you want in your actual tracker, it's just some bounce page to send people to. You can also add visitor tags, which is a way of tagging a visitor so that you can use that tag in other conditions later. So you can see it in reporting, but you can also use it in these conditions. So let's say I get this test tag and I send all traffic um, that is not from New Zealand, I actually send it to this tag, maybe my tag is uh, not New Zealand, and then I send them to this rotator, and then later on down here, after this rotator, I could have another condition which checks if people have been tagged um, as not New Zealand, and if so, they only go to these two offers. So only the people who come down this path here, who are not tagged, could possibly get to this offer. Very easy to create um, with this kind of visual uh, system. And I can also use JavaScript and PHP nodes. JavaScript nodes let you send people to an intermediate page generated by FunnelFlux, which just executes some JavaScript and then redirects them somewhere after some delay that you set. This uh, is very useful in circumstances where you wanna do something like fire uh, Facebook JavaScript to track a click-through event on a lander or an offer without having to do any like coding on the page. You just let FunnelFlux put that intermediate page in and track people and execute JavaScript um, for whatever reason. It's just very easy to do that uh, here. And you can also add PHP nodes, which are done server-side by FunnelFlux. This is a really advanced feature which lets you create very complex and cool functionality. You just need to know a little bit of PHP, but you can actually use these to um, look at FunnelFlux's data on, on anything, any parameter that we're tracking, you can make decisions based on that and return a one or a two or a three or a four or a five, and that can tell FunnelFlux where to send that person. So if I add a random node here, what I mean by that is you can connect to this and you can have result one go here, result two go here, result three go here, and result four go here. So if you have any very complex functionality that you want to create in terms of redirection, PHP nodes can probably do it. Okay, that's about all that I wanted to show you with the actual funnel editor. Um, there's also this cool heat mapping stuff which lets you actually look at the statistics of your campaign uh, visually, but I won't get into detail of that because I'd have to load a real funnel and uh, go through some of the data and I don't want this video to get too long. But hopefully you can see uh, how powerful this is 
for creating very complex redirection pathways very, very easily. And I think that this can help you create much better campaigns and ultimately make more money from those campaigns because you can actually manipulate and move those users around your funnel in the ways that generate the most revenue from your campaigns. Okay, so that's everything. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you about uh, FunnelFlux. Be aware that FunnelFlux is self-hosted, so if you want to uh, get started with us, you will need your own server to install things on. But we have a number of systems which make this extremely easy to do, uh, which automate it and make it very, very manageable. And we offer free installation services to help you get started. So feel free to get started with us, and I look forward to seeing you inside.